King's College London has one of the largest communities of students of war anywhere in the world. In fact, it's got the largest community of historians of war anywhere in the world. We realised this last year, and to bring all those people together to make our great effort visible to the world, we founded the Sir Michael Howard Centre for the History of War. Our aim is to do world-class military history from all sorts of different perspectives, and really to put military history right at the centre of historical scholarship, to show the world the incredible quantity and quality of work that's been done here at King's. I think one cannot begin to understand or pass judgments about what is going on in the world today unless you see it as a continuation of a process which one can trace back to the Enlightenment of the late 18th century. What you are doing, however small, however focused, it is nonetheless a part of a greater, greater whole which your study is going to help you to understand. I would absolutely recommend the History of War program. I think the approach King's takes in terms of interdisciplinary study of the History of War is a fantastic approach. I think the resources available to study the History of Warfare in and around London are unparalleled. 100% the course has changed how I think about the study of history. I think the lecturers here have sort of stepped up a level into how I perceive um, how we study things here. I've really loved sort of how diverse the professional goals of the people at King's are and how amenable King's as an institution is in sort of promoting those goals and helping people achieve very different kinds of objectives post-graduation. We have now in the Department of War Studies at King's a whole range of people spread over a whole collection of subjects, linking them together and showing how they can help one another by talking about their subject and getting questions about their subject. I've really benefited from a lot of the events that have been organized under the auspices of the Sir Michael Howard Center. As someone who's deeply interested in contemporary conflict, it's been interesting to kind of see experts trace patterns in the past and think about well, what can we, what can we not repeat? What can we learn about what's happened before? But also, what is, what is definitely unique about the past that might not necessarily translate into an actionable lesson in the future? I had the great good fortune of using the library, which has an unparalleled collection of works on military history, and including some original documents dating back to World War I, which were fascinating to go through. And I had the great good fortune of meeting Sir Michael on several occasions, and he has just been an inspiration to my own studies. I feel like this uh, course in particular is really going to help in what I want to do in the future. Coming here, it was really clarifying to what I want to pursue later and how I want to do it. After graduating from the program, I'm going back to writing history, and I hope to write better history than I've written before based on what I've learned in this course. It is just an exceptional place to study the history of war. The Sir Michael Howard Center. Obviously, I think it's a wonderful idea. It's the greatest honor that has ever been done to me. It's in the very middle of the most exciting city in the world. This is where it is at. That's what I felt about Kings when I first went there, and it still is. Nowhere else is remotely like it. There's a danger, or has been a danger, as war studies develops and becomes broader and broader. The focus of it, the origin of it, the germ of it, that is to say the history of war, is getting a little lost to sight and this centre will pull it all together again, I trust, and ensure that it is not lost to sight at all, ever again.